Hey, Tribzera here, and we're doing some more experiments with the Tronsmart DC-DC uh, USB-C converter that's originally made for a vehicle that I've modified um, to just be a normal DC-DC converter. And it takes a wide input range. Uh, in my last test, I, ha I hooked it up to a supercapacitor. I got it as low as 2.7 volts, which a... A uh, subscriber pointed out that um, is the cutoff uh, for a typical lithium ion battery, which I have here. So this is a 14 cell in parallel, uh, outputting 3.6 volts, um, plus or minus uh, uh, about a volt or so. Um, it'll go as low as this will cut off, which is interesting. And then I have here, this is a very, very large battery. You can tell the size difference from a Nissan Leaf uh, vehicle. I've got two of these that I'm going to use for my home uh, solar battery backup project. But I, it is, it's got four cells in here, I believe. Two in parallel and then two in series and it'll output 7.4 volts and I wanted to hook it up to this guy to see uh, how it performs just with a, uh, you know, a 2 in series uh, 7.4 volt battery versus a uh, 3.6 volt because we know it'll, bo it'll boost we know there's, it will, it's also capable of stepping down at least 12 volt I've got it up, you know, stepping down 24 volt in a vehicle, so it has a very wide input range. So let's hook up, let's hook up the um, big battery, this guy first. So here we go. And I am charging my wife's phone. So that's interesting. 4.7 volts at about 2 amps. So that's pretty good. That's actually much better than I was seeing earlier. <laughs> I'm double checking the connection to make sure I hooked up the right battery and yeah, follow the cable all the way back to the big one. So that's interesting. Um, when I first tried this, I was getting only half an amp at 5 volts, which is pretty terrible. Um, that's not bad. That's not too bad. Let's try the other one, see if there's a difference. Now, I have tried this before with the 3.6 volts in the boost configuration, and one thing I noticed is it got very, very warm. It's not warm yet. And the MOSFETs may not be able to, aren't being cooled properly in this configuration, perhaps. In the, in the power banks, they're maybe being cooled a little bit better. Plug that in. And pretty much the same. So, very, very similar performance. So, yeah, you can hook up um, a 3.6 volt battery or a 7.4 volt battery and have it work with this thing. I will observe it, see if it gets any warmer than this and uh, maybe I'll modify it to cool it a little bit better. But that was a, an interesting experiment I'm, and successful. So you can use uh, batteries to charge, make your own USB-C power bank from uh, either type of battery configuration. Pretty cool. All right, trips are out.